How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And it is Belgian time. Belgian ale time. Belgian dark ale time. In the form of Cane Brewing's Malice. Um, this is my second Cane review. Uh, Cane is a brewery out of New Jersey. Jersey Shore, to be exact. Um, where I grew up. Aw. I live in northeastern Pennsylvania now. Um, they do not get any distribution. I believe they're just distributed in-state, very small. Uh, but I'm lucky enough to have visited the brewery and have um, a friend that lives close there who will bring me cane beer because I'm a huge fan of this brewery. Um, like I said, I did one of their reviews already. It was their anniversary, 1095. Um, it was a Slayer Method Belgian Quad Dark Dark, I believe. Um, uh, their first, second, third anniversary absolutely love that beer it's one of my favorite beers i reviewed last year so i'm just super excited to give this new one a whirl um because it's a little bit unique and we'll get to that uh as far as what it says in a bottle it says cane brewing malice belgian style dark ale brewed with local apple cider and spices um 9.7 percent alcohol by volume malice is a unique beer specifically conceived and brewed to celebrate our inaugural bottling it is inspired by a traditional belgian style but refined by locally sourced ingredients. We replaced the Belgian canning sugar with local apple cider reduced in our kettle and used our house Belgian yeast for primary fermentation. Stored properly, malice should age well. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, uh, label-wise, awesome. Uh, very brewery in style, um, which is not a bad thing because I'm a huge brewery fan as far as labels go. Um, but yeah, um, label's cool. And like I said, I'm super excited to give it a whirl. One, because I'm a huge Belgian per, uh, fan. Um, you know, there's a lot of beers that I like outside of the atypical Belgian style. But give me a good Belgian, especially from an American-made brewery. And then you probably have me hooked, which is one of the reasons why I like their anniversary so much. And what kind of drew me to their brewery. Um, uh, and the fact that this is made with reduced apple cider as opposed to just a regular Belgian candied sugar um, you know that Belgian candied sugar is a huge draw for me uh, when it comes to Belgian beers but I'm a, I'm a homegrown Jersey apple cider junkie so uh, taking two styles of beverage the apple cider and Belgian strong dark and kind of melding them together is pretty damn interesting so I'm just uh, chomping at the bit and diving into this sucker so there we go your chance to offer. First off, it's very quaddish in color. Um, I mean, you know, Belgian quads and Belgian darks are very slippery slope as far as style and whatever you want to call it, um, classification, I guess you'd say. But, you know, to me, darks are specific. Uh, color and or density in quads typically have this specific color and density and this is the color and density I look for when I go into quads so uh, first things are first two fingers of ridiculously creaminess on top um, you know small little medium sized bubbles from bottom to top and like I said color wise I mean that is Belgian goodness in a glass color wise I mean it has that perfect hazy brown to it that unfiltered density that is almost a prerequisite for me for um a quad but even like that a nice dark has to have that unfiltered goodness to it so so yeah looks apart let's see what she smells like you definitely get the apple cider there i mean it's the first thing to jump out at yeah there's almost like a perfect balance between a nice um that apple cider sweetness that i love that i covet there's also the just ever so slightest bit of tart there that you typically get from an apple um belgian yeast is present not as big and bready of nose that you typically expect from an atypical belgian ale but this is an atypical belgian ale so take that with well, well whatever it's worth but yeah it's got this nice, beautiful, nice sweetness to it. Not overly sweet. And like I said, it's driven by that apple cider. It's like absolutely there, which is nice. I mean, when they tell you it's brewed with apple 
cider, a reduced apple cider, you expect it to be there. A lot of places tell you stuff is brewed with stuff, and you don't get it. And, you know, beer can still be good if a person tells you it's something's in there and it's not. But when they tell you something's in there and it is, kudos to you. But yeah, um, other than that, almost like a little bit of datiness to it. Maybe even just that slightest bit of pruniness, but it's driven by that apple. It's not huge, it's just dense, I guess you'd say. So yeah, I mean, this smells like a winner. Let's see if she tastes like a winner. Cheers. That's really interesting. Wow, that's a really interesting beer. Its soul is Belgian. Um, its absolute soul is a Belgian. It's there's you can taste it in the yeast. It's got this nice fluffy yeasty breadiness to it. What I was trying to get in the nose, and I said it was small, definitely comes through in the mouth. The apple cider is there, but it's not overly sweet. I expected it to be a little bit sweeter based off nose, but it's not. It's a perfect amount of sweetness. I'm getting a ton of cinnamon in here. Yeah, it's a nice spiciness. Like you said, it's brewed with spices. It's got to be cinnamon, maybe a little bit of nutmeg in there. But yeah, that spice is absolutely present. Like the nose, apple, a little bit of breadiness, nice sweetness to it. Mouth. Belgian yeast, nice spice to it. It's not. It's very reminiscent of a pumpkin spice, but it falls short of that. It's probably a little bit more cinnamon, nutmeg forward, I would say, rather than clovish. But it's very similar in in, in spice to a, a pumpkin spice ale. But the apple's definitely there. Um, expected to, for some reason, based off nose and, and the whole apple cider thing. Apple cider is typically sweet. But I expect it to have a little bit of apple tartness to it. Again, it could be just, you know, you know, red delicious. It can be, not be a green. It might not have any tartness going on. But if for some reason I expect it a little bit, it's not there at all. Beautiful Belgian body to it. Nice fluffiness. Not even close to dense, but it's got that nice fluffiness to it. Absolutely wonderful take on a... Um, on a Belgian ale. I mean, it is, like I said already, it is a Belgian ale in soul, in spirit, but it's got a really awesome twist on it. Um, unique twist on it, but it, it retains that core of what makes Belgians be a Belgian, that proper Belgian yeast. It's not overly... I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's just, it, you can, if you've ever had a lot of American uh, Belgian ales, they typically can go a little bit off kilter. They lose the spirit, and I keep repeating that word that sold the spirit of the Belgian ale. This is retaining that in spades. And um, just adding that twist to that apple in there with those spices. Yeah. I would say, if I were to classify it, if you have blind taste tested this, it's very close to being a Belgian pumpkin ale. Again, falling short a little bit of the atypical pumpkin spice, but it's very just making me think that with that cinnamon and that nutmeg in there. I'm getting out of it. It just wants me to think that, but it's so much more than that. It's so much more than that atypical, uh, the atypical pumpkin ale. Um, and zero booze whatsoever. Absolutely fantastic beer. Love it. Love everything about it. You know, it's old school, new school at the same time. Uh, rating wise, I would give it a 93. Um, absolutely great beer. Um, can't wait to get more of it. Um, absolutely another home run for me uh, from a brewery that I'm a big fan of. Um, value and availability. Um, I don't know what, I, what my buddy paid for it. He brought them to me. Not sure what he paid for it. Um, the, 
I believe the 1095s are coming out around $18. I think there's a little bit less. So, I mean, if this bottle is falling anywhere between $12 to $17, I say knock yourself out. That's a great value. At that price point, depending on where it falls, I'm probably anywhere from an 8 to a 9. Uh, Bill Building, that's kind of where it sucks. Even for me, I would give it like three just because I'd have to drive three hours to go get it. Lucky enough to have someone to bring it to me. Um, but it's definitely worth um, a trading for or trying to get some if you can. Uh, it's just that good of a beer. Uh, so availability, I'll give it like it's a three forge. Unless you live in Jersey, Jersey then it's a nine. So there you go. Uh, yeah, 93 overall. And uh, great score on value if it falls on a price point that I assume. And availability, your mileage may vary. So, uh, yeah. Um, what, if you like what beers, go over all that thing. Uh, if you are a Belgian junkie, if you like Belgian ales, if you like quads, if you like doubles, if you like darks in the classic, classic Belgian style, and you want an American brewery that's doing it right, but also bringing their own style to the beer instead of trying to reproduce um, what another brewery has done, this is the beer for you. If you like good beer in general, this is the beer for you. If you like fall pumpkin style beers, but you want something a bit of a twist up, or you want something um, that is spicy, but not pumpkin spicy, but just something quite similar, um, it's definitely worth it. And like I said, if you like great, good beer, just pick it up, because it's absolutely worth it. King's Malice, uh, big thumbs up on this, 93 overall, super into seeing how this ages. Um, I think the spice in it is a little bit more forward than it should be. I get even 93, so it's not a negative, but it's just a scoosh forward than what it should be. I think if this ages the way I think it would age, especially about the three to five year mark, this could get in the mid to high 90s. It's just that nice of a beer, so... There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't, or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you'd like to check us out anywhere else on the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, I'm tapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. And uh, yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice Belgian-inspired ale right now. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>